Hi, my name is Tamara. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you are new and you like what you see, please stick around, join the family. We will love to have you. And please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Now, as you can see from the title, today we are talking about my favorite fragrances under $50. So if you want to see what these are, please keep on watching. So I do, as usual, have an honorable mention. I don't have it because when I was in Philly last month, I left it for my mom. And that is Club, Arm of Club Imperial. When I tell you, that fragrance is a dupe for the Lena exclusive. And when I tell you that lasts long, it projects, it smells so similar to the Lena exclusive. People who know the Lena Exclusive, if you're wearing that and they don't know that you're wearing the Lena Exclusive, they're gonna think you're wearing the Lena Exclusive. That fragrance is one of my top favorite and I plan to replace, I plan to get one. Yes, I have the Lena Exclusive, but still, I need that so that I can keep my Delina lo um, longer. So that's an honorable mention because I really do love that fragrance and that's one of my top fragrances under $50. Now, let's really get into my top five. The first one we're going to be talking about is Nebras by La Tafa. This one is, this is a love at first sniff. This one I think is like $36. This is a sweet, creamy, vanilla, ambery, musky fragrance. It is really, really good. You have to love your gourmand to love this because it's a sweet fragrance. Now, I'm not thinking clawing or annoying, but it's definitely a sweet fragrance. And they say this should be a dupe for Billie Eilish. While I do see the remnants and I, I do understand, yes, they're very similar, but I think this is a whole, this is different. Um, it has its own differences and it stands on its own. But this is a really nice gourmand, vanilla gourmand musky scent for or fall and winter now but when i first got it to be honest with you it wasn't the most long lasting fragrance but i realized as it sits um i've had it for a while now the longer it gets like all vanilla the longer it gets the better it gets the sweeter it gets and the more long lasting it gets it does project in the first few hours but then of course it becomes kin scent this i would say maybe about a good six hours hoping it gets longer but from for now i get a good solid six hours um in this one the notes in this one you get the top notes you have the red berries mandarin orange mid you have vanilla cacao and rose vanilla cacao and rose and then in the base you have sugar tonka bean amber musk so again very sweet very creamy very vanilla beautiful scent if you love gourmand if you love sweet if you love vanilla fragrances i would say get your nose on it and it's under 50 dollars. can't beat this one now the second one we're going to be talking about is also another sweet fragrance but it also has some depth to it and it's a little bit it goes in a different direction it is boozy and this is camera and this is a dupe for or it should be a dupe for angel share again it's not a dupe in my opinion this stands on its own this is totally different than angel share angel share it's sweet it's boozy and it's clawing to me and i did not like angel share because it was too it was too boozy but this one it is boozy but it's not as overly boozy and i think the balance with the sweetness and the booziness and the tanker bean and the akigala would just really balance this one out for me so i like it better even though it, they say it's a dupe it's a fragrance that stands on its own that has similar notes but it's nothing close it's not like angel share it is a great alternative for angel share though so if angel share was too boozy and too much for you then i would say try the camera or try the awa from the camera too it's camera hour that's a lighter version easier to wear version of this as well now this one is going to be your beast mode it's going to give you eight plus hours it is loud you don't need to overspray, and this i think is more suited for fall and winter again boozy you have to love booze your booze in the fragrance to really love this one it's a unisex scent for me this is like a sweet spicy vanilla scent that's how i that's how i when i smell it it's like sweet spicy vanilla fragrance um it is unisex it is long lasting so siage is amazing on this one and this is going to give you 10 plus hours you don't need to overspray few sprays because if you do overspray this one you are literally going to choke everyone around you now the notes in this one you have cinnamon nutmeg so very spicy in the opening bergamot praline 
and then in the mid you have the dates the tuberose base you have the vanilla tonka bean amber wood myrrh benzoin and akigala wood so this is a great complex fragrance unisex boozy spicy vanilla fragrance for fall and winter this goes well with the holidays so think thanksgiving things getting around to christmas and christmas festivities this is gonna shine through really amazing and this is camera from latafa all right so i love my valaya valaya is just this fragrance that is good it's a classy fragrance that i love to wear to like serious like, meetings special occasion because it's a beast mode it's long lasting and it projects and if you know me i love my long lasting fragrance so for me when i got my nose on mystique bouquet it's misty bouquet which is a great dupe and a great alternative to valaya but i think it's a little bit sweeter a little bit airy and easier to wear than valaya so this one it's fruity i think it's even fruitier or it's fruitier than um, valaya it's a fruity musky powdery scent that's that's how i can describe this one very fruity and fresh in the opening but then it dries down to this more powdery musky sweetish fragrance now it's not sweet sweet but it's sweeter than valaya and to be honest with you it's still long lasting siage is amazing so you're getting a lot of the benefits that you get with valaya just not the price tag this one is under 50 dollars and it's gonna last long and it's good for a special occasion dinner meetings weddings anything special anniversary this can be worn and it's i think it's more also more suited for spring or warmer weather this is a warmer weather fragrance because it's so fruity and fresh it is really good the abraxan in valaya and the akigala within valaya is really more potent than in this one so if those were two notes that you couldn't jam with because you 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 didn't like in the Valaya, then I would say try this. It's under fifty dollars, and you're getting a lot of benefits that you have in Valaya with for less, way less, and you're gonna get compliments. Because when I wear this, I get tons of compliments. Now the notes in this one: you have white peach, mandarin, orange, lychee, bergamot. Then you have mid peony, orange, bl orange blossom, mahonia, vetiver, and then in the base you have the musk, the ambraxan, the ambraxan, oak musk, and vanilla. So really a great fragrance for great great value for money love this one the next one we're going to be talking about that i it's pretty much one of the newest in my collection and i absolutely love it and this is Janun noir by um araman when i tell you this is a spot on dupe for dema bianca i love my dema bianca but this one it lasts longer and you're getting the smell this is a powdery musky vanilla it's a great vanilla scent it's a great summer classic vanilla scent so i always whenever i think of dema bianca or even this i think of white dress summer dress going to like a girl event going to maybe a wine we're going to a wedding going to a shower baby shower something just girly and feminine this is a feminine musky powdery vanilla fragrance and i absolutely love this so for the price of this one i'll be rocking this one um, and I'll be mixing it with my um, Dima Bianca to get my life, right? So this one, it's your classic girl fragrance. Of course, it opens up similar to Dima Bianca because it has that kumquat and that lime in the opening. opening. But then it dries down this powdery musky vanilla. Really love this one. And for the price, you can't beat it. Again, it's not beast mode. Dima Bianca wasn't a long-lasting fragrance. This is not uber long-lasting, but it's more long-lasting than Dima Bianca. And the notes in this one is the kumquat lime in the opening then you have oris violet jasmine lily of the valley in the mid and in the base you have your vanilla your musk your sandalwood and your cedar love love this one so again this is Janun noir from our main and the final one that we're going to be talking about which is also a recent one i grab and i absolutely love it and this is arma and this is club de Nuit woman this is a fresh fruity floral musky fragrance you have to love that freshness and fruitiness in the opening but it dries down to a floral musky scent right so it's a very florally very musky it is a dupe or should be a dupe for it is said to be a dupe for coco mademoiselle i think it's the coco mademoiselle intense very similar but i think this is a little bit more fresher take younger take on that fragrance it's not as truly heavy 
as Coco Mademoiselle but when I tell you it's very perfumey so you know original perfume scent is very musky floral floral perfume fragrance this is what it is but it just there's a something about this fragrance that I love it projects siage is amazing in on this one and it's also long-lasting you have to love that strong perfume and musky free floral fragrance though to really love this one so think about Coco Mademoiselle intense fresher airier lighter younger to it not as patchouli heavy well I love Coco Mademoiselle very much so I'm not surprised that I really like this one as well and then the notes in this one you have top notes grapefruit bergamot orange lemon peach and then in the mid you have the rose you have geranium jasmine and lychee and then in the base you have the patchouli the vetiver the vanilla and the musk so again fruity floral musky <laughs> that's it with a tad bit of sweetness it is a little bit sweet but it's not overly sweet or heavy vanilla but again this is club de nuit woman by armoff i must say armoff they are killing the game so if you are looking for fragrances that are affordable i would say armoff is killing the dupe game they so that's it these are my favorite fragrances under $50. I want to know, what's your cheapie? What's your favorite cheapie in your collection? Please let me know. And if you're still here, please, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.